My name's Tina Dennis. I'm an air traffic control assistant here at East Midlands Airport. During the day, we tend to do quite a few uh, admin duties. We have phone calls um, about aircraft with delays, with slot times. Uh, we have to deal with um, our apron control unit when um, operators want to do engine runs or they want to move aircraft around. We also take training bookings and one of our main jobs is we send weather which goes to the Met Office to um, determine the East Midlands forecast. I started life here at East Midlands. I did a travel and tourism course at college and I was very lucky to get six weeks work experience here at the airport. Uh, when I'd finished my work experience they kindly offered me a summer temporary job so I started work here in 1989 as a 19 year old and I did three shifts a week which was between the airport information desk and the airport switchboard. Then later on during the end of the summer um, I was actually offered a full time job in the switchboard which I took. I then operated the airport switchboard for three years and we then um, were amalgamated with the information desk so I did a further two years which was the job between the information desk and the switchboard and then I applied for a job in air traffic in 1995 and I've now been in air traffic since 1995 in total I've done 31 years this year at the airport I enjoy my role because there are no day, no two days are the same. Every day is different. Um, it depends on the weather. It depends how busy it is, the time of year, the seasons. As an airport, it can be quite seasonal. Obviously, the winter is quieter. Summer, more passengers go on holiday. But the one thing that is constant here at East Midlands is the nighttime traffic. We have hundreds of freight flights and post office flights that bring letters that will probably end up on your doorstep every night. Um, during the week. To get into air traffic or work at an airport one thing that you could do is you could actually um, if you wanted to be an air traffic controller there is a website which is NATS National Air Traffic Services and if you go on that there are little games and things that you can play for aptitude tests and things and contact NATS to uh, become an air traffic controller. Some airports actually now offer apprenticeship schemes here at East Midlands we are just starting to do um, a scheme where we employ somebody as an assistant to then potentially be trained as a controller.